Greetings. Today we will learn how to use a very important tool in our academic development. The name of the tool is Citation Machine and it will help us in order to make proper citations in written documents that are due for this subject or other subjects. So the first thing that we have to do is open our web browser. In this case we are going to use Google Chrome. We go to the address bar and we write citationmachine.net. This is the home screen, the index page, and here we have two options. The first option that we have here is on the left, and we have the MLA, APA, Turabian, and Chicago reference patterns. University of Ibagué uses APA, so that's the link that we should click. But first, we are going to use the easiest path. If we look on the right, we will have the ISBN web lookup. What is this? It's very simple. First, we click the APA button, and then in this space, if we have the book, the physical book or the ebook complete, we go to the first pages of the book and we look for the ISBN code. In this case, I have a book by Paul Wilkinson named International Relations, a very short introduction. We are going to use the ISBN code in order to show how this tool works. So the ISBN code is with iPhones, but we are not going to write the iPhones, just, just the numbers. The numbers for these codes are 9780198801579. It's already marked because I tried that before. We click on Submit, and the website does all the hard work for us. We have all the information required, the name of the author, last name, year of published, the title of the work, the publishing city, and the publishing company. As we don't have to modify anything, we just make the citation. We click on the Make Citation, and we have the information that we require. If we made a mistake, we can return to the form and correct mistakes. But in this case, everything is okay because we just wrote the ISBN code. This is the part that is the simplest for us because we are very familiar with these options. We just copy, highlight, and copy the document. We copy that. And we can go to Word in a new document and we just paste the reference. Normally, this goes in a separate page at the end of the document. Mm -hmm. Here we have the reference. If we are writing a paragraph containing a lot of information from the book and we want and we have to make the citation, we just copy and paste the reference in the second case. It's marked in text citation. So we do the same, copy, and we just paste at the end of the paragraph in question. That's one of the ways. That's the easiest way. We are going to see, not the difficult, but the most common one, because sometimes the ISBN code doesn't work properly. So we go to the web page, to the main page originally, and we go for the second option, the APA link on the left, we click on that, and we have different options, web page, book, compile work, reference work, etc, etc, etc. Depending on the source, we select that, but normally the format is the same. We have another uh, menu on the left with different specific publications. But normally we could use web page or book. In this case, we are going to do the example with the same book that before. So we click on book. If there is more than one author, we click on the plus and we have the option to write more information about the author. So as I told you before, the name of the book is International Relations, a very short introduction by Paul Wilkinson. So the first thing that we have to write is the last name, Wilkinson. It's already there because we already made the query before. And just the initial. Paul, P, with a period, no more. The year the book was published, according to my edition, was 2000, 
and 7, different from the one that we saw before. The title of the work, International Relations, a very short introduction, is already there. Normally we have to write that, and be careful with this, capitalize only the first word and the first word after a colon. Edition, volume, page numbers, not necessary. Publishing city, as we saw before, is New York. The publishing company is Oxford University Press in the United States. We write that. It's not automatically. I just click that because it's already in the system. And we click on Make Citation. And again, we have the information. Wilkinson P. 2007, International Relations, a very short introduction. New York, Oxford University Press, USA. We copy. We go to Word. We can paste, again, the reference. We can also copy and paste the in-text reference. And the only thing be difference between the first one and the second one is the year of publication, 2008 for the first one with the ISBN code, and 2007 for the manual entry that I made using the website features. Remember that citation is very important. It gives credit with credit is due. Remember that if you don't give credit, you are stealing ideas, stealing information, and moreover, stealing uh, copyright materials. And remember that copyright materials are protected by law. Also, there are some academic implications of stealing this information without the proper citation. I hope this tool will be useful for you, that you will find this very interesting and very easy to use not only in this subject, but in also the other subjects that you have to deal with in the career. Uh, I hope you understood everything. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment sections. And remember, give credit with credit it's due. Thank you so much.